Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And uh, we did some picks yesterday. We're going to talk about those picks yesterday. Wasn't my finest day in the land, but uh, wasn't too bad. I want to thank you all for your letters and appreciation for the money you're making from off of my picks. Uh, I love your letters. We get them every day. Uh, Sanjeet Wagar from uh, Punjab, India. Thank you for your letter. Uh, Sven Muric from Slovakia. Thank you. Thank you for your letters of appreciation. Love it. And thank you all for the for going over to Patreon there and being part of our membership. Oh, look at that. Just got all hit my light. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, by the way. You know that. And you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I do fine picks for you daily. And I have some NHL picks for you today. And we're going to look at some picks that we did yesterday and see where it's bad, but it's not that bad, actually. So let's go look at it now, shall we? Okay. Um, I, you know, I will have to go to um, uh, Perlo's House of Spanking, though. Probably will fit me in tomorrow. And I'm going to, I, I didn't win on the day. And that doesn't happen very often. So I'll go get my spankings. Well, our picks for tomorrow will light it up and everything will be fine. Okay. So I had, I took the Rangers over the Devils. And you know what? I, I, these are paid picks. I took the Rangers over the Devils. And you know what? That was a, a thinking about it. It was a bad play because I had not really watched the Devils games too much this year. And uh, I had heard that things were going very well for them. I just really liked the Rangers on that play. It was a bad pick. Now, I had the Panthers to win in regulation, and they freaking dropped the ball and went in overtime. But I also had them in a parlay, which we'll continue to talk about as we do, as we go on. I had the Senators over the Jets. Senators had them all the way. I switched. I thought, okay, it looks like the Senators got this. Come back. They're in overtime. Jets score in overtime. The Senators outplayed them the whole game. Um, I liked them a lot in that play, and I ended up losing it. Um, did not have a play on the Flyers, but I did give you in my video a lean on the Flyers. If you look at my video yesterday, I actually did a lot better in the video than I did for my patrons. I had the under on the Jackets and Red Wings, which was good because it's the only one I had correct today on my single plays. But I also had the Blue Jackets, Red Wings under in that parlay where I had the Panthers ML. I also had the Avalanche in that parlay. And so hit the parlay for about four and a half, somewhere around there. Now, unfortunately, I also had the Avalanche and the under. So that's one, two, three, four, five, incorrect. And the parlay of four and a half, so I'm down half a unit on the day. Well, not really, because my, uh, this actually, this uh, Blue Jackets Wings play was for large pearls. And uh, so I might even be up a tad. It's not that bad. I may not be a spanking after all. I'm going to have to go check the numbers. I'm going to have to get my people to look at that. Uh, but uh, anyways, it leads me into our picks for tomorrow. And uh, as you know, I can't give you all the picks because I do have picks for um, my uh, for our paid picks for our patron members. But I probably will give you a paid pick on here. Um Toronto versus Edmonton. I have a play on the line. Um, this is kind of a paid pick because I'm humming and a haw about it. You would think that Edmonton, Toronto, with the firepower that they have there and the way they play, that this would be a for sure over. The problem is, is Edmonton is really tired. They played a lot of games in the next little, last little while. Them and Vancouver are really beginning to hit hard with the schedule early on. Toronto might be a little bit tired too. They played a lot of games. Um, the last game they played against Ottawa when they were playing six and four, they um, 
didn't look too bad there. Let me just go check. I like to check the weekly face off. You've got to check this out. If you don't have this, it's must. It's a must. It tells you how many games that they played over time. So over so they played against Winnipeg, then they had a day off, and they had a day off before that, and now they play the Oilers. Uh, the Oilers now have been going game out. Yeah, they had played against Montreal, then they got at home, and then they have to fly to Toronto. So they're going to be probably a little tired here. Um, and Koskinen has been playing the whole time. So I'm, I'm kind of conflicted as to what to pick, pick there. Usually tired teams don't score as much. Um, however, tired goaltenders and Koskinen's been playing every single game don't save as much either. So I'm going to lean the over after all that. I'm going to give you the over on this game, which may be a paid pick. I may give that to the patrons as well. San Jose versus St. Louis. I have a play on the line here. I kind of been mulling over the total. Are the Blues going to continuously keep on playing like this and get and go over, 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 over? Last year, St. Louis was almost a cinch for every under. They're playing against a San Jose team that really defense is a problem. They it so far. Nabokov, who I thought might get their goaltending situated, and still might, it's early, hasn't. So um, I'm going to give you the over six here. Uh, it's paying a nice little 195 on San Jose, St. Louis. Um, Minnesota, Anaheim, I can't give you a play here because I have them both. But I did say I was going to give you a paid pick. So I think I'll give it to you here. Um, I got a, a light bet on Minnesota ML over Anaheim. So there you go. And Minnesota ML over Anaheim. I, I'm not going to give you the over-under on that one, though, too. You have to go over to Patreon and check it out. I put the link down in the comment section there. You can look it up. Go check the packages out. You are not at all... Um, what am I trying to say? You are not locked in. You can quit at any time. So you can try it, check it out, don't like it, get out. Montreal versus Vancouver. I got to play on the line here. And I do. I got to play on the over-under as well. I can't give you on that one, on that one. Arizona, Vegas. Um, I'm, I, I get, this is, I'm going to give you maybe two paid picks here. Vegas, look at this. If you can find opening. This app, they're giving you six and a half on the under at 174. That's gold, gold. Go check out that app. I would be all over that. So I'm going to give you the under at five and a half. Arizona is just playing so defensive. Now, last game, Vegas pulled out the over at the last second. That's why I'm giving it to you, and I'm not really giving it as a paid pick. Because Vegas can score in bunches, even against a great goaltender like Kemper and the defensive system that they have. So it's very difficult pick. But I'm going to lean the under. I'm going to give that to you as, as a pick. Okay, boys and girls, that's my full 42. Um, I'm, I'm going to Perlo dance for you. You know why? Because I'm feeling a little under the weather. There's a little Perlo dance. If you're ever feeling under the weather, you just go like this. Do yourself a little Perlo dance. And I'll tell you, in a half an hour, you'll be feeling sweet. Little thing I figured out. I went up into the Appalachian Mountains trying to find the, 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 way, to, the way of uh, positivity in life. And I did a little OM for a long time, for like three months. And then uh, um, whatever it is that does that sort of, I don't know, why do we have to do it for three months? I'm not sure. Uh, why can't they just tell you right away? It gets cold up there in the Appalachian Mountains, you know. And uh, anyways, they, you got to be uncomfortable to get information, apparently. So I do that, and then all of a sudden I hear the word frolic. And I was like, wow, frolic. Yes, frolic would be good. And then I had to own for another couple of months. And all of a sudden my hands went like this. And I started doing that, and the words Perlo dance came to my mind, and this was the way of the frolic. Did you enjoy that? I hope you did. The way of the frolic, my friends. Hit the subscribe button, why don't you? And hit the bell. 
And I highly recommend check out John Payton on the radio. He's got some cool stuff. He's doing lives out there. Steelflyers.com. Go check out Steelflyers.com. It's a great website coming up right now. The All Sports Network. John Payton on the radio. Joe, Professor Joe. You can check him out at Sports Fanatic News. He's fantastic. But uh, And John does lives every evening. And I watch them. He does uh, commentary. Fantastic stuff. Love to see you there. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to ya.